short demo of the key system running on a Symbolics Lisp machine. So you have the top menu uh, accessible from some icons. So this is the key menu. So we are creating a knowledge base called example knowledge base. And uh, we asked for some units. Units are classes. So there's a unit person, no superclass. So we want to s have a slot. So we have a slot name. Um, the slot name is a string. So we have the value class string. We need at least one name. The maximum is not specified. Next member slot is um, height. So at least one height. Maximum is also one height. So it's just the number of values. The next member slot is sex. So whether you're female or not, so we say value class is one of female and male. So you have one sex and maximum one. So now we're done with the member slots, own slots none so we create a new unit a new class organization so the organization gets a member slot name and the name is a string we need at least one name so the next unit will be um, company and the superclass of a company is the organization. So no slots. Now we create an instance, uh, another unit. Well, it's as you see, it's a unit and. We're making a mistake here. We're saying it's a superclass company, IntelliCorp. So another unit, Symbolics. Same mistake. Superclass is a company. So we're done. So let's look at the knowledge base. Middle click creates an overview of the knowledge base. So we have company, IntelliCorp. Let's look at com IntelliCorp. So we get an overview over that. But we also can um, uh, get the display menu. So let's tangle. So as you see here now, this is uh, the graph. So company is a subclass of organization and IntelliCorp is also a subclass of company. We will change that. So we will remove the um, company link. And we will also remove the same for the symbolics. So remove this relationship. So uh, let's say IntelliCorp is an instance, a member actually of company. So now we enter company. So you see IntelliCorp gets below with a dashed line. Now we say the same for Symbolics. Symbolics is also a company. So now you see this graph. We are changing also, we, we are 
adding an instance to the person unit. So Fred Hacker. So you're seeing the right um, instance relationship here. Let's look at it. It has three slots. Name, height, sex. So the person unit. So we're adding another slot to the person, a member slot. So each instance will get the slot. Works for. And we say value class is company, uh, organization. So we added a slot to a class and all these um, objects will inherit the slot automatically. So you can change and remove and add uh, slots as you want. Let's look at the slot for Fred. So these are the slots, height, name and sex. So we will add a value for height. 172 so you see the value is updated there we will add a value for the name Fred is the name So we will also say that he is male, add a value. So you can have several different listings. So this is a list of this object and let's look at all slots okay so now we're adding an image panel to Fred so a graphical representation of Fred so this is a panel so it's a rectangular area on the screen kind of a window and now we, we will visualize um, two of the slots, start with height. So we attach an image and we say it's a value histogram. So we're adding this to the panel, change, uh, we will we'll select the size. And you see here a scale and the initial value of 172. Um, the range goes from 0 to 500. So we will change the value. So it says 172, we will change it to 178. And you see there's the second value in the histogram showing the new value. Let's change the range of this object this display so we're changing it to zero and uh, maximum is 250 so you see the scale has changed so let's add another one so we will add an image Let's push button add it to the panel select the size and you see it says female and male and actually you can press 
you see it's male already and you can press and now it's female and it's changed also in the display and if you change it in the display all the image also gets updated so we now say male and it has changed so that's key